What's up guys? So this time of year is a lot of people coming down on vacation with their families to our area. We're specifically in Navarre, Florida, but Navarre, Destin, Pensacola, Gulf Shores, this whole area, or anywhere in Florida, or anywhere there's salt water. This time of year, people are going on vacation with families. They don't want to catch fish. They have no idea how. They say, I only fish freshwater. I only know how to catch bass. They don't know where to start. So today, I'm going to show you guys the easiest and most effective way down here to catch fish and it works better than anything else that you're going to do what you're going to need i got this is probably about a seven foot rod yeah seven foot um it is a medium seven foot rod the lure rating is a quarter ounce to three quarter ounce so that's about all you need as long as you get something close to that you know that's that's the rod that you need the reel i'm using a 3000 size spinning reel again Anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 is gonna be fine. Don't stress too much about the rod and reel. What you do need, we got a popping cork. Now, if you're familiar with freshwater fishing for bluegill, it's basically a bobber, okay? It makes a little popping noise, but you don't have to worry about that too much. Popping cork, and then we got 15 pound of fluorocarbon leader line. You do need leader line. 15 pound fluoro is about perfect. And this is a size one knot circle hook. Owner makes these. Um, I believe it's Mewtwo Light Circle Hook by Owner. It's a one knot. It's about the perfect size for the bait you're going to be using. And then you got a split shot on there, and that's to keep your bait down in the water column. So you're probably wondering what bait that I'm talking about that you want to use. Well, I just. So the bait you're going to be using, guys is live shrimp I'm not sure how well you can see them in there <laughs> but we got a bunch of live shrimp in there okay you can get live shrimp at your local tackle shop here in navarre florida we got live shrimp at half hitch go ahead on the half hitch and uh pick you up some live shrimp it's about five dollars a dozen everywhere has live shrimp as long as they're in sock a lot of times in tourist season if it's too busy they're not but um for the most part you should be good everything in the bays or in the bar is called the sound eats shrimp Redfish and speckled trout are going to be your target species. They're going to be the main things you catch. Every now and then you'll get a flounder. There's, there's several other species, but redfish and trout are going to be the main thing you're going to be going after. So as far as where can you find redfish and trout, anywhere that there is um, good, healthy grass, grass flies. Like if you look out behind me here, I'm not sure how good you can see the video, but you can see it's nothing but sand. And then it gets real dark. That's all grass. You can see all the grass. If you're close enough to it, you can see it. And in Navarre specifically, basically the entire north side of the sound and the whole city is just grass everywhere. So anywhere that you can find public access, anywhere you can find somewhere where you're allowed to park and walk out into the water, you're gonna find redfish and trout if there's grass. So this is the most simple form of fishing. All you need is some shoes. I recommend shoes, don't come barefooted. Where I got a little $10. <laughs> I got a little $10 water shoes from Walmart. You can get pants and get shoes specifically for wearing. Heck, you can even wear just an old pair of mowing tennis shoes that you use to mow the yard with. We also carry a little backpack that's got like pliers, fish grips, um, a little bit of tackle in case we break off to retie. Um, and then and then that's it. And then the rod and reel. It's that simple, guys. And then, of course, I got my little, uh, my little bait bucket here that you can get one of these at your tackle shop too get a little rope tied to your waist i got a little carabiner so i walk around and it floats behind me of course i did have a five gallon bucket with an aerator on it and that's how i transported the shrimp to the spot but as soon as they get here throw it in the bucket come straight to the water and the shrimp will live fine in there all day so all right guys that's the logistics of the easiest way to catch fish while you're here on vacation or even if you're just due to fishing but that being said we're gonna get out there put these tactics to the test and see if we can't show you guys how it's done all right guys i'm gonna show you how to hook the shrimp you can either hook them through the tail or the horn i'll just do the tail for now and we'll do the horn on the next one And that's it you just hook them through the tail like that and that's one way to hook them there's a couple other ways which we'll show you throughout the video now i will tell you that i'm having my camera girl hold my rod while i bait that up if you get on amazon they do sell waiter belts that you can clip on a little rod holder so you can put your rod holder on there 
And uh, I actually ordered one recently. I just got it in. I haven't set it up yet. But if you're getting ready to come down on vacation, you have time. You might want to order one of those because it will make a difference in helping you, like, you know, if you need to do something or if you need to grab a bait out of your bait bucket. Otherwise, it's kind of awkward to try to, you know, put your bait on and hold your rod at the same time while not dropping everything in the water. The next way to hook a shrimp, the shrimp have a horn, okay? But there's a little black speck in there, if you can see it. Looks, it basically, they say it's the brain. I'm not sure if that's actually the brain, but they say it'll kill them. So you want to hook in front of it, okay? And through the horn. Just like that. And that's the next best way to hook a shrimp. All right, y'all. I know we mentioned fishing grass, but it's even better if you can fish stocks. Now, just so you know, even though we're in people's backyards, we're walking under their docks, and, you know, it's legal to be back here. You don't, you can't walk through their yard to get here, but as long as you're in the water, and as long as you don't get on their dock or touch their dock or match with their stuff, this is legal. This is, this is public right here. So don't worry about if you're breaking the law. And I try to tell you you're breaking the law, they're wrong. And uh, so grass is great, but if you can find grass around docks, that's even better. Uh oh, something's messing with mine. Uh oh, I think I might have something messing with it. Oh, oh, fish on. There we go. There we go. There we go, boys. And this is how you catch fish, guys. <laughs> I told you. I told you. And it's a nice red fish. There we go. That didn't take long at all. Yeah, I know. We haven't been here 10, ten minutes, y'all. I have my drag set kind of tight, so I'm gonna loosen it up. Now it's a nice, it's a nice slot red. Oh yeah, it's a nice slot red. I have my drag set tight, guys, because we're up by all these docks. And uh, I didn't want if I did hook a big bull. <laughs> oh, he just ran into my leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. All right. All right, guys. There we go. And he swallowed it. He swallowed it. So uh, I need to get my fish grips handy. Oh, come here, big dog. All right, y'all. Let's get up here. Let me get him up here on land so I can handle him. I don't know if we're keeping fish today or not. We're gonna get a measurement on him. Sorry if you hear dogs barking. Apparently every house in this neighborhood has dogs yeah. outside. <laughs> so, he is 22 inches. There we go. 22 inch redfish, guys, that easy. So, we did gut hook him, but I was able to get it out. So, we're gonna try to release him. Hopefully this one's off nice and healthy. He's not really bleeding too bad, so. I think he's good. Oh yeah, he's yeah, good. Yeah, he's good. He's swimming off strong. So just so you guys know, there's a slot on red flesh and also red fish, red fish and red flesh in Florida. The minimum size is 18 inches and the biggest is 27 inches. You're only allowed to keep one a day. So we could have kept that fish, but we got a bunch of pompano in the fridge. We don't need fish right now. So no sense in keeping them. And I don't like frozen fish. So we're going to go out there and see if we can get some more. Uh oh. Oh, fish on. I don't know yet, probably. Feels like a red, yeah. Yeah. He ain't really took off yet. I don't know. What do we got? Oh, is it a catfish? Whatever it is, it about took me out just now. Oh. The worst thing you could catch. A catfish. Caught him a catfish, guys. Here's on my rod. All right, guys, this is the last thing you want to catch. They're trash, they're not good eaten. They don't fight very good. And they uh, they got venom in their spine up here, so don't get anywhere near it. It will. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it'll swell you up for days weak sometimes so anyway there you went nasty things 
Hey, they're not like a channel cat, like a freshwater catfish, guys. No. Those, those taste good. They're highly desirable. Saltwater catfish are considered the trash of the ocean. They're not desirable at all. <laughs> but it's still cool, especially if you never really caught fish around here before. I'm sure you probably might still think it's cool. So, All right. Got it out there. See if we can catch something not a catfish. So the pop cork has a lot of good uses, guys. It's an indicator if you're getting a bite, for one, just like a bobber. You could cast really far with them. They help cast really far. They cast good into the wind. Um, and then so you can pop it. Now I wouldn't go crazy popping it. If you got a lure underneath it, you might. But uh, every, so they hook the shrimp and the horn because when shrimp swim, they swim forwards, the head first. I know because I catch them with a net all the time in the bay. And when they're running from me, they try to run, they take off head first. So, but it's, it's kind of like they, they go real slow, like they glide. So. I think you want to imitate that. So you cast out there, right? And you got the um, you got the um, split shot help, helping keep it towards the bottom, which is where they would be at. And so you cast out, and then you kind of don't just let it sit there. You know, let it sit there for a little bit if you don't catch anything. And then just kind of real little bit, real slow. Like I'm talking about, real slow. So you're basically making the shrimp glide across the water, and you're pulling it head first, right? And every now and then, if you want to, that popping cork has got like a rattling thing. And it's supposed to imitate the sound of a shrimp like flicking. You know, because shrimp, whenever they run from you, they don't just take off running, they flick and then they haul ass. <laughs> so that popper cork, you could just kind of jerk your rod tip real hard one time, and it'll go pop pop. And it's supposed to imitate the sound, so like this. And it goes pop. I don't know if you could hear it, probably not, but that's that's what it's for. Kind of seemed like I was getting a bite just now, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, fish on, fish on. That's a red fish, pretty sure. I think so, yep. Give me one from the dock. I think it's a red or a nice trout, I can't tell. What is it? Oh, dude. Yes. I thought it was a red fish. He came out the water when I hooked him, so I thought it was a nice red fish. It does suck. Over here, I'm about waist deep water right now, but there's the ends of docks typically hold fish. Right. Not always, but they can. They're a good place to try. So, oh yeah, right up against that pie one. That's right where I want it to go. See if we can't get. You never know what you might catch under a dock. Redfish, could be trout, maybe a, might be mangrove snapper under there. The oldier and crustier you're looking the dock is. Typically more fish it will hold because it's got more oysters and just all kinds of stuff growing, growing up underneath it. And you do want to tighten your drag up because if you hook something big, you gotta get him out of there pretty quick. So I'm actually gonna lock my drag down basically. If I hook something, I can pull him out as best I can. I might even catch a sheep's head. No telling what you might get. Oh, 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 got one on. Oh, there you go. He's pulling, pulling some drag too. Oh yeah, I'm glad I had that drag tight. That's a red. This is not a catfish. Oh no, oh no. I'm trying to keep, I got my drag tight to keep him away from that dock. Definitely a redfish here, guys. Definitely a redfish, trying to keep him away from the dock. <laughs> That's why I got my drag tight, y'all. That's why I got my drag tight right here. Oh yeah, I saw him come up out of the water. It's a nice red. Dang, I gotta get him away from his dock. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to pull the hook, but we gotta get him away from the dock. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come this way. Guys, if we can get him away from Doc, I'll loosen the drag up. That way we have a better chance of keep not losing him. There, he's away. Let me give him a little bit. Let me give him a little bit. 
I gave him a little bit of drag to run with now. Now he can run. Boy, I had that drag tight, y'all. <laughs> now we'll let him run a little bit. <laughs> this is a good one, babe. Boy, I had that, I had that drag locked down. He was right against the pylons when I hooked him. If I didn't have that drag tight, he would have definitely broke me off. <laughs> well, his rod was doubled over and he was not peel he wasn't peeling. I'm glad we didn't pull the hook. Oh, it's a good red fish. Beautiful, beautiful red. This might even be a bull. It might not even be slot. I don't know. Oh, it's a nice. He's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get him. All right, I got him. Let me bring him up to the beach. Got a nice red fish. <laughs> we both need to be carrying fish grips. Guys, Amber's got everything I need to deal with the fish. Dude, what if you see where the hook's at? Barely. Barely. Oh yeah, I see it. It's at the roof of his mouth, though. Got him? Yep. You positive? I'm gonna let him go? Oh, that's a bull. If it ain't, it's damn near it. Yeah, I know, right? Alright. It's a nice old red, guys. Beautiful red fish, y'all. Yes, he is. That's a beautiful one right there. That's what you want right yeah. there. Yeah. That beats catfish, for sure. Oh yeah, without a doubt. All Where's right. the, uh... Measuring tape here. Yeah, let me get it measured. And 20, right. Pinch his tail. 28. 28. An inch over. An inch over, guys. We're not keeping fish anyways, but he's an inch over. If we were keeping fish, that is an over slot. All right, guys, 28 inch red. We're going to put him back. I told you right there at the end of the dock. I'll sell you my coordinates $20. <laughs> You let it go. Oh, that's good, right? Come on. We didn't have you out of the water that long. Come on. Come on. You're good. Moving back and forth, maybe? Yeah. Pulling backwards. It'll put right. the. Uh... Yeah, there he is. All right, buddy. See you later, bud. There, there he goes. Yeah, he did. Catch you again, again here in a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> tell your friend. So listen, if you had a wading belt, you could do everything that I had that I'm doing right now out there in the spot and keep fishing. So we yeah. keep having to walk back to the sands. We don't have everything we need. But just goes to show you, rod, a reel, some pliers, and some live shrimp and popping cork set up. That's all you need to come out here and catch fish and yeah. have a good time. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Right there in that same little area, y'all. Usually where there's one, there's more. Let's see if we can get a third fish. If we catch a third one, I might keep him. I don't know. Uh-oh, we got something on it. Something's eating it. Something's eating it. Get ready, guys. Get ready. I saw it bobbing around a little bit. Going the opposite direction than what the current's going, so I don't know. Looked like something was munching on it. Oh, something got my something got my bait. I knew I got had something bobbing around. You got something? All right. Guys, Amber's got a fish on. And I got the pliers, so I gotta go to her. Yeah, Amber! Is it a red fish? Amber's got a red. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta go over here and get her. A trout? Get him! Get that sucker on the bank, guys. Amber got a big trout. 
It's a big trout. We're in like two foot of water too, guys. Get his butt on the sand. Woo, that is a big trout. Oh my God. Daggum. Holy cow, look at that freaking pig. Look at that. That is a gator. Look at that. Yeah, good job, Little Amber. Thank you. Oh, so proud of Little Amber. Yeah. Wow. Now you need to hold my rod now, man. Yeah? Do you want me to take the hook out and stuff? Well, yeah, because you have the pliers. Yeah. Dude. No way. He's 25 and a half. 25 and a half, guys. Looks like 26 to me. No, 25 and a half. 25 and a half inch trout. Dude. That's a beast, dude. I know. That's it? that's the biggest trout we've ever caught. Yes. No, I'm not kidding, guys. That is a beast. Look at that. That is a good trout. So oh. proud. Great that's job, Will so Amber. Happy. Look how big he is. Yeah, that's a big trout. You know what I mean? Let's see if we can get another one. I hope we do. I got something else. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. It's just a little baby, whatever it is. Dude, it's a baby trout. Nice. Yeah, there we go. No, my shrimp. Ouch. What? He got me. I wanted my shrimp back. <laughs> I know. Dude, look how small he is. He a little tiny one. Yeah, I know. My, it, my bobber went, or my popping cork went under instantly. Yeah, there we go. See you later, dude. That was funny. Boy, did you see that cast? Yeah. Look where my popping cork is. That was a great cast. Right out of the dock up there. Tighten this drag up in case another... Yeah, I know, in case another overslot redfish jumps on it. Oh, there he is, too. <laughs> oh, whatever this is, don't have too much size. Maybe it's a snapper. Oh, I think it's swimming at me. Oh, look how fast it's swimming at me. Oh no, it's swimming at me, oh God! <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Probably a catfish. Oh, it's a truck, oh, it's a redfish. It's just a small one. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. They're telling you guys. Right there at the end of these docks. This is the same dock I caught that big one on. Just the other side of it. Hey, hey, Mr. Rat Red, you calm down. He's just a little baby. Yeah, well, he's not too small. He's definitely, he's got some beautiful, uh, beautiful spots. Some beautiful spots in that one, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna let this little dude go. I did pause the camera and take a picture because look at those pretty spots he's got. Oh, well, anyway, glad I had the camera on. He gone. Well, that one wasn't quite as good, but... Oh! Oh my God, as soon as it hit the water! Oh, this is the better one! Golly! This dock is on fire! Let me turn my drag down and let this one run some. I got him away from the dock. Dude, as soon as it hit the water, bro! Yeah, it's a redfish, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, another redfish. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Yeah, he's decent. This one's probably slot. <laughs> Putting on a show. Got that little red, guys. He's a good size. Yeah, he, he might be slot. I'm not going to take him up there and measure him. He's small. Probably yeah, slot just probably. A well, there he's you go. pretty though. Yeah, go. he looks good. All right, stop your camera.
Never mind. I was going to get a picture with him, but he's gone. We can take screenshots. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I think we found a hot spot, so no reason to throw it anywhere else. They're up here in this dock. We done, I done caught three or four fish total. So, see if we can get us a bigger one. Getting that drag tight. Didn't quite get that where I wanted it, but I'm sure there's still fish there. Fish on! Fish on, Amber! <laughs> dude, this dock is on fire, dude. Yep. Yes. And it's a little one, but it's still fun. Oh yeah, this dock's on fire, y'all. I'm telling you guys, you come down here on vacation, you want to have fun with your family, this is how you do it. Simple, effective fishing. There we go. And these circle hooks, guys, you don't set the hook, you just let it hook itself. Keep tension, let it hook itself. It hooks them right there in the corner of the mouth every time. Beautiful, beautiful redfish. See you later, buddy. All right. Get us another shrimp on there. Oh, there we go. Another one. Another smaller one again, but it's still another one. <laughs> Come here, boy. Calm down. Hey, look, another rat red. Yeah, these rat reds are schooled up. We call them rat reds, guys, under slot. They're schooled up under this dock. There might be, there's got to be some bigger ones in there too. Yeah, beautiful redfish. Later, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I got one on. I, I cast out behind me, guys, and was just walking to the bank, and I, I hooked, I got something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, because I can't see, because it's dark. <laughs> What do we got? I think I got another trout. Oh yeah, trout. Nice, yeah, trout. All right. I don't think he'll keep, guys, but I did get a trout. It's awesome. Yep. I think that's gonna end the day. All right, guys, that was a successful trip. Yeah. That was only a two hour trip and we caught all those fish, guys. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you saw exactly how we how we do it, so no no need to recap. It's simple, you know. Don't make it more complicated than it has to be. Do lures catch fish? Yes, yeah. yes, they do. But it's a hundred times harder to catch fish with a lure, and uh, you know, lures are not as effective. I don't care what anybody says. They're more convenient. They may be more convenient. But lures are not more effective at catching fish than live bait. Nothing beats live bait. Yeah, it's the real deal. What do you think yeah. lures are doing? They're imitating live bait. So you can cover more ground with lures. That that uh, That is one advantage. You can yeah. cover more ground more quickly with lures. But when, you, when it boils down to it, you want to put fish in the cooler or you want to have a good time with your family catching fish, live bait's where it's at. And you can't beat live shrimp for in, yeah. the, in the sound. Another thing about live bait versus lures, guys, especially if you got kids or family or even you yourself not very experienced fisherman, with live bait, you just put it on the on the hook and throw it out there, wait for a bite, you know? With lures, you gotta know how to work it, where to cast it, you know, and uh, yeah. I'm not knocking lures, I'm just saying, live bait certainly has its advantages. Yeah, it does. So if this video helped you out, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more fishing content, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Later.